Hey everyone, welcome to the tag video and today we're on the map and we're going to be playing some Hypixel and I've been kind of, am I, you know, I'm just not going to ever say when I'm going to make a new video because it never works out anyway. So today we're playing some teensy tag and I've been playing a lot of Valorant with friends. It's like a common trend throughout my videos or my, my YouTube career. Whenever I play with friends, I upload less because I make videos when I'm bored. And because I'm with friends, I'm not bored a lot, so I don't make a lot of videos. But I've also realized, I think I'm low-key, I'm getting more annoying. When I make less videos, I have more thoughts pent up in my head, and that makes me more annoying, I think. So I gotta, I gotta somehow balance my life, but I don't think I've ever found a balance in my life. But I gotta do it one day. I gotta try to force myself to make videos so I'm cool again or I'm not annoying. But maybe it's all in my head. I think I'm a mental player when it comes to life in general. I'm just like someone who's influenced by my mental a lot. I could think I'm the worst player in the world in the moment, but then when I look back at recordings of myself, I'm like, you know what, I'm not even not even that bad. But it's just how life goes. Yeah, we're playing Teensy Tag, and today I'm going to be talking about this life-changing decision I decided to make, this innovation that I invented, and it's my full commitment to the Tens Final Mouse. Obviously, I'm not on the Tens Final Mouse right now because... That mouse is too small. Honestly, that mouse isn't even made for claw gripping, dude. I've been trying to claw grip that mouse ever since I got it. And it's just so small. It's smaller than the G Pro Wireless, if you want a perspective of how small it is. And I have the medium too. So the medium is smaller than the G Pro Wireless. And I already thought the G Pro Wireless was kind of small on me. So that was kind of annoying. But I have, I've been fingertip gripping of 10's final mouse. And I've decided to convert myself into a full-time full final mouse consumer well i'm not gonna buy their their new mice i'm just gonna always use the final mouse now that's that's my goal i think i've been on it for a week now and ever since i've been on the mouse i've been undefeated in premiere you know what i mean I, we have never lost the game in premiere on valorant like we're undefeated we're 4-0 right now and we're uh we're kind of the next fanatic honestly we're looking like fanatic i'm not gonna lie bro the igl calls our counter strats our scrims like everything is just reflective off of fanatic but just a better fanatic obviously because we're na and they're eu so it's just a debuff on their side anyway so yeah i've been fingertipping i've been fingertip gripping the tens final mouse and usually i would fingertip my mouse like a claw grip but my palm wouldn't touch it but with this fingertip i'm doing now my ring and pinky finger are together and yeah like obviously my fingertips are gripping the mouse and that's how i'm fingertip gripping now but when I play Minecraft, I think I think claw gripping is the best mouse grip for jitter clicking. But Intel Edis made a video years ago talking about, you know, your typical jitter click tutorial. And he said fingertip gripping is the best because the vibrations of your hand, because your palm is resting on your mouse, it makes you not have consistent clicks, I guess. I don't know. He said something like that. I watched a video years ago. But I just remember him talking about mouse grips and I'm really obsessed with mouse grips. So it's kind of like, whoa. He knows, he knows about that stuff, but I feel like if you rest your palm on the mouse and your hand is basically floating, then that's like the best way you can jitter click in terms of aim and stability and clicks, I guess. But yeah, that's how Stimpy jitter clicks. His wrists rest on top of his mouse instead of touching his mouse pad. That's how like, Scholar grips his mouse. I think one cool thing about butterfly clicking, or not cool, but one interesting thing about butterfly clicking is that the wrists rest on their mouse pad. So it kind of gives them, I think that makes it easier to aim, honestly. But when you're jitter clicking, it's like a whole different type of aim because like your hand is floating. So it's just, all right, there's some cool stuff. There was a point in my life where I wanted to actually make a video about that. I had like this whole, I was Googling stuff about physics some torque stuff like i don't know like things about pressure and vibrations and frequency i don't know bro i wanted to get into the science of jury clicking it was like a month like bro i was in astronomy right and i was really hype about astronomy i thought it was a really cool class and then i watched interstellar and interstellar was just a god tier movie and there's a lot of physics in that movie too and i guess that kind of motivated me to make a video or i guess yeah it motivated me to make a video about jury clicking i guess because all the tutorials are kind of bad. Intel's is probably the best one, but there's a uh, misinformation. And I feel like that's low-key the secret. Dude! <laughs> bro, that was such an awkward fight, man. Okay, this is a better map for 1v1s, I think. I don't know, bro. I always get into the worst spots. I just felt like I was going to lose that when I first fought that guy for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe that's why I lost, because I said I'm a mental player. My mental was already ruined. 
before the game even started. But anyway, yeah, I feel like that's low-key a glitch. It's called the the Zai Wu. Is that his name? Just like a CSGO player who is really popular, and that's how he grips his mouse. His hand rests on top of the mouse. And uh, it's just your wrist is basically floating. This is the main weird thing about it. I think Sui 2K also grips his mouse like that, which is pretty interesting. Because, dude, I can't do that when I'm playing games. You know, like, it's just, it doesn't work. I think I tried playing Aim Labs and it just didn't work out well. But Aim Labs is also not a good way to test out your aim. Which sounds pretty counterintuitive, but it's just what I... It's just an anecdotal conclusion that I came up with, obviously, because that's why it's anecdotal. Anyway, so when I first swapped over to the tens mouse and I was doing this new style of fingertip gripping, I was getting really bad aim lab scores. Since I'm getting bad aim lab scores, that means that my aim sucks on this mouse, so I shouldn't use it, and I should just go back to the G Pro wired. The thing, the thing that messes with my head a lot is I have all these mice on my desk, all these wireless expensive mice, and the one that I commit to is the G Pro Hero, bro. Like the cheapest mouse, I think it's like $30. And I like this mouse the most, like more than a TENS mouse, more than my Air 58, the G903, the G703, the G Pro, like bro, I just always go back to this mouse because this mouse is so good for claw gripping. I've always fingertip gripped for the most of the time I've been playing games. So, but the way I fingertip gripped was like the claw position, but it was just my palm wasn't touching the mouse because my hands are pretty big. But with this new finger of gripping, bro, I feel like a I feel like a new person. You know what I mean? Like I'm undefeated in Premiere. I feel way more confident when I'm clearing angles. I feel like I have more control over my mouse. The thing is, my aim lab scores suck, which is you know, obviously. What is her cape? Give me girls. Give me love, probably. It says give me something. Did it just log? They were standing still looking at the ground. So yeah, that's uh, this new revolution, this new revelation, this new era in my life has begun. And I'm now a free thinker. I'm going to become the most insane Valorant player. I got ranked. <laughs> I think the last time I was talking about Valorant and me getting ranked was so many videos ago. But yeah, I got I got ranked. I think I got placed plat 2. I got placed plat 2 and then I double ranked up to diamond 1. And I think I'm diamond 1. I could be diamond 2. I, th I think I'm still diamond one. I don't know. I haven't been playing, but yeah, that's my rank right now. So obviously I'm washed and I'm terrible, but listen, dude, the potential is there. Wait, I tagged Spider-Man and said how? Whoa, he's going after me. How did he even know it? Okay. Oh my God. Yeah, what am I doing? Okay, anyway. But the most Minecraft I've played is I think Hypixel says with the Mega and... We played like three games, and I think I won only one of them because they're actually pretty good at how Pixel says. I don't know why. Priest of nature. I guess they practice every day. But anyway, I have not been playing Minecraft. And ever since I stopped playing Teen to Tag a lot, my skin has gotten better. My life has gotten better because, you know, I'm playing with friends and I'm also undefeated in Premiere. And also, I think I've been a generally happier person because lately I've been watching One Piece again. I'm finally done with my break with One Piece, and I'm up to the, the flashbacks where they show Roger and Odin and their adventures, or I guess it was more of Whitebeard and Odin, and then it was, you know, it's just Odin, right? It's just Odin's legacy. I'm up to that part, and dude, it's so awesome. Roger, Whitebeard, they're all so cool, man. Like, I just love seeing OP characters. And with One Piece, I first started watching One Piece years ago, but I dropped it after the Arlong Park arc. But it was years ago. I think when the anime had 500 or 600 episodes right now. So yeah, I knew about Roger for so long and how he was like the greatest pirate and then you watch 900 episodes and everyone's talking about how roger is just the king of all the pirates and he's just the goat just the god tier person he's accomplished everything and you never really got to see him fight but in these flashbacks you finally get to see him fight dude and dude the new animations is so insane man you can see so many subtle changes and just the way people talk and it's just oh my god bro it's like a whole new anime like it's for real a whole new anime man like if one piece was made in modern day it would be called one piece two or three or four you know what i mean like it wouldn't just be called one piece but because it's so old i guess i don't know i like that about it because it really develops in so many ways and so people are always like how could you watch one anime for so long but it's like bro it's really not one anime like it's just it changes so much so many things hit at you and it's it's god tier it really is so cool and i'm like yo i think on sunday what the on sunday is when gear 5 comes out and 
People on Twitter were talking about how they have the best animators working on that episode. Where did this guy go? Okay, he's going after me, really. That guy's sitting in the corner. He just looked at him sitting in the corner, bro. Am I crazy? Oh my god, I won the 50-50. Holy actual gamble, dude. Oh my god, seg.com. Where do you go? Now who's going for the guy in the corner? But we should have just went for the- I mean, I guess that's a 50-50 too. But... That could have gone really bad. Okay, we, we're gonna win against this furry, this cat boy. I have to win. I don't know how I don't get the first hit anymore. I swear I used to get it all the time. Maybe there's just some new tech I'm not aware of. But we're just gonna waste time real quick. Yo! Oh my god. I'm getting rolled by a femboy. We're not a fanboy, cowboy. Yo! What the hell? Wait. Well, that was actually last second. What? I thought I had time to W-tap him. Did he get BP'd? Oh, I didn't get BP'd, but damn, what? Wait. Wait, that guy wasn't even that good because of that last play, but I was getting... Oh my god. Like, is it me? Am I just bad? Is it my movement? But yeah, I'm on episode 970, so I'm still 100 episodes away from gear 5. And I'm probably going to miss it because it comes out on Sunday and today is Tuesday. So probably, unless I know life it, maybe I will. Because right now I'm addicted to it. I think I watched maybe 10 episodes today. Not even today, like in a couple hours I watched 10 up. Like 10 episodes doesn't sound that crazy. But in the amount of time I watched it, like it was basically like I didn't stop watching. I binged 10 episodes. There you go. That's... I'm really good at talking anyway so yeah, i have a lot of topics i always talk about how i have a lot of topics but i do it was just uh, i couldn't really find myself talking about the things i wanted to talk about right now because i haven't made a video in so long so i kind of want to get into the the groove of things before i start stuttering all over my mic and having spit and saliva all over it. hopefully this video does that justice and i'm gonna be more coherent next time but yeah, that's gonna be today's video if you enjoyed thanks for enjoying and see you guys later peace